All right, folks, so there you go. Trigger's down two. Wave your arms, Dallas, you're on the camera. Come on out, let's hear some noise. It's two to one, Trigger's down over Instinct. Boy, Columbus really was a better crowd than you guys. I'm disappointed. You can do better than that. Let me hear one more cheer. Dallas! All we right, <laughs> the Columbus wins. Two to one, lockdown ball is next. You know, it's lockdown oddball. We saw enough of it last night, but I'm actually really excited to see this one. We have some extremely talented objective players in this game. I'm really looking for Ghosty Ami and Lunchbox to step it up for Instinct. Hysteria is going to try and be the main player here for Triggers Down, and if Hines gets his hand on the ball, he is probably one of the trickiest players to track down on this map. And let's listen in with the Triggers Down squad. They seem to be fired up after that Game 3 victory. Number 8, go on the stairs now. Go on the stairs. Yeah, right shot. now, Watch right now. Watch out the shot. Watch out the shot. We'll get him. No, just one. I got him, I got him. We're set up. We're set up. I'm with you. Go in car. Go in car. We got a slay now. We got to drop two. Go in car. Go in car. Nice job. Back up, Richie. Oh, two shots, two shots, coming in, coming in right now, two shots. For your B, card. Oh, oh my god! Oh, there's Hysteria, talk a little trash, that's what we're saying, if that's happening. Bad for the other team. One of the main, two guys, and cards at the main. And cards at the main. You guys gonna be on me. One shot, we got one of them. It's Sundance, this is the game that I really think is gonna be the turning point for Instinct, or I think it's gonna be the first time we're gonna see how strong is a leader of a leader is Ghost Ami for this Instinct squad. It's a good point. I mean, you remember back, uh, Walshie on Instinct, this team pulled up an amazing comeback against Believe the Hype at the end. That was all about the communication and the strategy at the end, sticking to their plan and executing. Leadership is key. I know I talk about it all the time, and you guys sometimes laugh at me, it's, I think, you know, saying it's overrated, but without a leader, Who's going to keep your team together, your heads together, make sure you stay focused? Every great sports team that you talk about, whether it's baseball, basketball, football, has a great leader on that squad. you got folks like Derek Jeter, Tom Brady, LeBron James. You need that in a game because everyone else feeds off that. You may not be the best skill player, but it doesn't hurt because you're the best player and the leader. Ghost Yami just getting shut down. He's waiting for his shields to come back, and as soon as they do, he's hit by a grenade or two. Let's check out and see what Neighbors trying to do. He was over on tower side and he was scared off by a couple grenades. Triggers down, just keeping the pressure on Instinct so far while holding the oddball. It's 46 to 20. Yeah, uh, you don't. If you're Instinct, you want to keep this close because you don't want to go into panic mode. There's no reason to. This is a long game. We saw that last night. It plays out at the end a lot. No matter what you do, you got to just stay focused. And Instinct, again, they've got the ability. They just don't seem to be clicking yet. They're not looking like a superstar squad at the moment. I think it's just because they haven't hit rhythm. And as someone who is hitting rhythm, that's hysteria. He just got taken out, but I want you guys to see what he's doing. He is playing happy right now. Hysteria is in his happy zone. Yeah, when he starts looking over at the other team, you know, it, it, that's that's a bad sign. Again, Pistola was laughing a little bit about, you know, some of the talk that Hysteria will do during a match, but he backs it up with his play. <laughs> Jumping out the bottom middle, he's throwing plasma grenades. Meanwhile, Pistola moved the ball from the B side of the map all the way to the A side of the map. 80 seconds to 20. Triggers down just expanding their lead, and we've seen four down, three down, two down constantly for Instinct. Yeah, not, not what you want if you're Instinct. This is, uh, you know, they're going to create panic mode for themselves if they're not careful. All right, guys, well, it's been fun joining you. i got to go back down to the command uh, uh, station down there and tell you guys what to do. But uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for putting up with me. I appreciate it. And hey, crowd out there, everybody who's listening, do me a favor. Uh, go to Get Some Gear again because uh, we're trying to sell them hats. It's GetSomeSUMGear.com. And I'm sorry to pivot in the middle of the game while Pistola is getting a killing spree, but that's how it goes. Peace out, everybody. <laughs> Making that money, that's why we love Sunny D. Chris, I'm afraid to say that this is if Instinct loses this match, I don't see them getting too much higher in placing wise. I think that if they lose this match, they're gonna be really down on themselves. You don't think they can bounce back on Sunday? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, to be honest, I, I don't even know what to expect out of these guys. Last night, I thought they could win the event by the way they were shooting, the way they were playing. Now up against a difficult opponent, they're kind of just falling apart after looking kind of strong in that first game. But incredible strategy here by Triggers Down. They, they're running, they're utilizing under the base with SK, and they're keeping the ball guy on top, and then they have two guys car. One guy is the car side of the ball, and the other guy on the other side. And by doing so, it's forcing them to go tower because they know where they're at. So they're like, if we, so Instinct thinks if we go tower, they won't expect it. But in reality, there's three people looking at them and they get pinpointed. We're waiting and bait. All right, it's 112 to 23. Instinct finally touching the ball for the first time in the last four minutes. Hines putting some jump shots while moving underneath the base. Gets called out by Roy. Challenges. Ooh. And that is supposed to be the best PR in the league, people. Right now, Instinct just looking sloppy again. Three down. Neighbor, the last one alive, trying to stay alive. And he's going to be taken out as well. Let's jump on board with Pistola. And Scott, take a look at the stats next time someone dies. I need to see who is controlling this game right now for TD. Hey, car, hey, car, hey, car. Controlling the objective here or just destroying? Well, mainly objective. Because every time I've looked Pistola's up, it's got 70 points. He's, he's kind of just running around with his oddball and he's being protected by Heinz and SK and Hysteria. Hysteria's just doing what he wants in this game, challenging everything. And that shows the maturity that Pistola's come along. When I first started off in the league, or well, when Pistola first started off in the league and it was the 2006 season, he only knew FFA and he only cared about slaying and didn't really care about the team 4v4. 2007 season started getting into 4v4 and now he understands that if he just grabs objective time and does whatever he can to win, he's going to win 4v4 and be a good player. And we got to welcome Farouk back up to the booth. Farouk, how you doing? Doing good. I mean, when we talk about uh, map control, we always talk about controlling the power weapons, the overshield, and the sniper and the rockets, but there's none of that here. So what do you do to control, get map control here on uh, Eyeball Lockdown? You got to work together as much as humanly possible. As soon as you get the least bit of control, you have to take advantage of getting that ball time. Once you get that, then you have pretty much the power weapon.